students this is the next question from the chapter name oscillation the next question then the question is what discuss the composition of two shm composition means what when two oscillation intersect then what will be the result like in wave optics when two waves interfere interference occur then what will be the result so here also we will do the same thing here we are going to consider what resultant of two shm composition of two shm but the condition is what the two shm consist of what same period what is full form of shm full form of shm is what simple harmonic motion okay shm simple harmonic motion but those two shm having different amplitude having different amplitude abhi now you are asking what sir a uh, question little bit we understood but sir will you just give the derivation will you explain on the board so that what we will get more clear idea to all of you concentrate just uh, you have to remember this question as a composition of two shm composition of two shm remaining thing i will explain on the board okay total mathematics some trigonometric ratio you have to consider apply you have to understand So all of you considered it is really easy derivation, but the main thing is what it consists of. What first, first we have to do, we have to show that result and SHM is also SHM. Discuss the composition means what we have to show that result and SHM is also SHM. So let us start to consider two SHM. SHM means what simple harmonic motion. Consider two SHM of same. Capital T. What is capital stand? T stands for same period, but different A. What is A stands for amplitude, and phi stands for what? Different phase. What is general formula for any SHM? Last time we derived x is equal to x is equals to what? A into sine omega t plus phi. Okay. This is general equation of any SHM. Okay, so we consider what different amplitude. So amplitude, I am going to consider what a one for first SHM. For first SHM, I give I have given what suffix one of different phase also. It is given now of different phase. Okay, different amplitude and different phase. That's why if I say consider this is first SHM, x one equals to what? A one sine omega t plus phi one. So similarly, if I want to write for x two, will you tell me what is x two? X two will be what? A two multiplied by sine omega t plus phi two. Now students are asking, sir, why you are not written omega one, omega two? Because as I told you, it's having what same amplitude. Sorry, same period. Same period. Period. If period is same. Then angular velocity will also be same. So why? Because what is the formula for omega? Omega is equal to two pi upon capital T. If period is same, then definitely omega will also be same. So don't put suffix omega one and omega two because when you do the uh, derivation, no, in the exam, the most of the students are putting here a one phi one, a two phi two. Along with that, they put omega one, omega two also. Definitely, your answer will be wrong. So don't put omega one and omega two. Reason is what? Because of same period. Okay, it is mentioned over there. Period is what? Same. Okay, chalo. Let us continue. That's why we consider two equation. Now we got two equation. Now what will be the result? Result and displacement. As I told you, we have to find the result and interference of two SHM. So what is the formula? Result and displacement is what is superposition of waves? You know that is a vector. Sum of two displacement. So students, here I am going to write x one plus x two is what your x. So what is result and displacement? X one plus x two. Now all of you concentrate. Now I am going to just substitute and I am going to apply the trigonometric formula. And Karthik, you have to give the give me the answer of trigo. Okay. What is x one? X one is a one into sine omega t plus phi one. Okay. Plus what is x two? A two multiplied by sine omega t plus phi two. Okay, so students, 
I want answer from Karthik Menon. Karthik, what is sine A plus B? Will you tell me what is sine A plus B? Here we have to apply sine A plus B formula. Tell me. What is sine A plus B? Quick. Karthik Menon. Sir, sine A plus B by 2 minus cos A plus B by 2. Are what you are saying? You are, you are saying factorization formula nonsense. Karthik, sine A plus B, sine A. Sir, no, brother. Cos B. Plus cos A into sin B. You know the formula sin A plus B. Shall I give the sin A plus B? What is sin A plus B? Sin A cos B plus cos A sin B. Understood, Karthik? You understood this formula? Yes, sir, yes, yes. yes. Same yes, formula I am going to apply in for the second session also, the second term. A2. But there is a plus sign, okay? A2. Again, we will apply sine A plus B. That is what sine A cos B. So B is what your phi 2 plus cos A into sine B. B is what your phi 2. Okay. So students, now what I will be, what I will do in the next step. All of you concentrate. Now, therefore, x equals 2. I will multiply A inside to A1 into sine omega t into cos phi 1 okay